blasting Call the, the fucking ear What video game company do you think makes a better action games? Microsoft or Platinum Games? I bet Platinum Games is better because Astral Chain, baby. Um... I'd answer that question, but I know that whatever answer I'm get, uh, gonna give, I'm gonna get shit for it. I'm gonna say Epic Games, because they made Gears of War. Yeah, fair enough. Well, okay, that's technically a shooter game, but it's still an action game. Yeah, no. I, I see it as action <laughs> shooter, so... God, I have so much fond memories of playing the uh, Gears uh, series. Like, that was one of the very few uh, modern titles of any mod, like, any of those, like, because, uh, like, during the 2000s, it was all about oh, the shit. shooter games, from, like, Halo to Call of Duty to Rainbow Six Vegas, and so on and so forth. And, of course, they had their own spins on it, but it became so, like, it became so, what is it, generalized that you've seen the whole, like, duties call thing from freaking uh, uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah, no, uh, with Gears of War, there's, yeah. there's some moments that I still love, like, there's, like, Solar Winnow and I'm talking about. There's one where you have to use this arrow thing, and you shoot an arrow, and it creates an explosion. Or it's, like, an explosive uh, arrow of some kind. Uh, one of which you have to, like, time it correctly, because you also encounter these things called, um... Uh, what is it called? Berserkers. And they're fucking annoying as hell. Like, good lord. Um... Normally, you would have to use the Hammer of Dawn, which is, like, a little gun that creates a laser, and it... Uh, communicates with a satellite and launches a huge beam and it shoots wherever you point the, uh, the laser at. This one, you have to shoot it off of a cargo train and after it's taken off, after a, like, a good pocket of silence, you hear, PIECE OF SHIT! <laughs> like, that's something a lot of us would say. It definitely has, like, <laughs> it definitely has, like, a somewhat of, um, a, uh, uh, an, like, an aliens vibe. Like, it's very gritty and graphic. Hero's Duty, that's what it was called. Okay. Yeah, Hero's Duty. <laughs> duty. He said Get out. Duty. <laughs> oh, Don't fuck. blame me, blame the writers. Yeah. Come on, Dratini, you got this. Yeah, come on, keep going. No, he missed. No, oh, use Lear. Come on, don't miss this time. Okay. I want to see if Dratini is strong enough to take on a Pokemon itself without having to um, switch all the time. Come on, one chance, one chance. Yes. Woohoo! All right, Dratini, I hope this, uh, yeah, grew to level 28. Two more, and it'll evolve into Dragonair. Machoke. Um, Too big snake. All right, so, yeah, you are not going to last long at all. So I'm going to go ahead and switch you to... Switch to Firebrand, because he has fly, and fighting are weak to fly. And then there's Psychic. Yeah. Play... Oh, wait, why did I do that? I, I, Brett, you fucking dipshit. Oh, well, well, he's dead. He got burned. All right, well, good on him. Da, 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 Woo. <clears throat> Morty. Yeah, really. Dee, 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 dee. Dee, 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 dee. Huh, so I made it all the way up here. Oh. It's a Snorlax. It's a heckin' chunker. When you, when you ate too much booger fries and milkshake and you're feeling it. Mm -hmm. I'm really feeling it. I feel it now, Mr. Solar. <laughs> oh. Good. <laughs> this game this was... is like whenever I cook for you. You just eat so much you just can't move afterwards. Because the no, food you, you make... you make me eat what you cook. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but you don't put up much resistance because it's fucking good. I was going to say... The first time... No, 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 Golden, the first...
first time he was visiting, he made breakfast, and I said, oh, I only drink coffee. He's like, eat some breakfast. Boy, I'm like, I just you better fucking coffee. eat. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what he did. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I didn't hear you complaining after you took the first bite. <laughs> I'm like, god damn it, this is good. <laughs> you can't resist the food of solar. He, he makes hash brown bacon sausage egg omelet something i don't know what the fuck he makes but he makes it good <laughs> birch i know I, that I, I make a big fucking omelet and then i put it on top of a big fucking hash brown and then you eat it kind of like a breakfast pizza i'm sorry to cut the conversation real quick uh birch i don't have the pokey flute yet i had to use that first to battle uh snorlax sorry okay you guys can continue uh, okay um uh, what did you call that it was an it was like the american something I called it the American dream. <laughs> it was pretty, no, it, it, like Lars was moaning. Dick, it was it? that good. <laughs> you made my husband moan. <laughs> I mean, I wish I hadn't, but yeah. <laughs> well, don't cook breakfast so damn good. <laughs> well, here's the problem. I like eating breakfast too. That's why I make it so good. <laughs> so what did you, so what did you make for him? Uh, for them? Okay, so it was a big fucking omelet. It was like a probably like a five egg omelet. Uh, there was bacon. There was cheddar cheese. I believe there was onion in there. I don't remember if we had onion that morning. I think oh, you might have put onion in at one God, point, but you don't always so do it. Stupid, this it it depends on if we have onions, basically, because onions are always a nice touch to an omelet. And yeah. then on top of that, and then I put that on top of a uh, on top of a hash brown that is Fucking basically God. the exact same size. So you have this omelet that's resting on top of this hash brown, and then you eat them together. Wrong fucking location. Wow, I am way off today. Uh... <laughs> so you get the you get the the crispiness of the hash brown, but you also get the flavor of the omelet. So no, yeah, get out of there. <gasps> there. <sighs> Deposit all these damn TMs. Oh yeah, Tisla. Good breakfast. I don't like normally eating breakfast in the morning. I just better have a cup of coffee and I'm good to go. But it's like, how do you like your eggs? Like, how do you like coffee? Em? How do you like them? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> Plus, how do you like your eggs? <laughs> Shut up, Solar. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Uh... Come on, all the way down. Do 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 do. Fucking hell. Hash browns are basically shredded or diced potatoes fried in oil. Yes, they basically are mini french fries. There's... Yeah, basically. Pokey flute, there it is. Yeah, essentially, they're just... You either, you either grate them on a cheese grater, or you just cut them up into tiny cubes and you cook them that way. Now, the, the real trick to this that you want to do is... Time. If you're cooking bacon, which it's breakfast, so I'd hope you do, you cook the bacon first, and yes. then in the grease that's left over from the bacon, that's what you cook the hash browns on. Yes, and the eggs. Yeah, and the eggs. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a Tex- I think that's more of a Texas thing. It's something my mother taught me, so I'm glad to see that your mother taught you. <laughs> oh, yeah. There. No, when Solar's in town and he's hanging out with me, Aeon, and Lars, it's like, I could kick back and chill because these two go to town on cooking. Oh, yeah. And it's like, oh, I don't have to cook for a week. Yay! <laughs> oh, tell Nicole I say hi back. I hope she's doing okay in school. That's right. She's in school now. She yeah, is in I school. believe she... <gasps> She and my nephew are both in school now. They're in kindergarten, man. I feel so freaking old. <laughs> yeah, as if we hadn't. Freaking old, man. Get in up there. One day they're going to be mini blissies running around. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Enemy Snorlax. 
Oh, I look at that Pokemon and it brings back bad memories. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were there for that. I was so there for on. that. Yeah, yeah, no. I think you ripped that guy a new one, didn't you? I said... I believe I did. Yeah, I think you did. Um, are we <laughs> yeah, talking that about a... somebody? Okay, I'll, uh, you want a story? Let's story not, let's not drop names. Let's not drop names. I'm not going to drop names. Okay, good. Ob for obvious reasons, too, because it was back during the bad days with you-know-who. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it was during a live stream with you-know-who uh, that me, Aeon, and Solar, and a fan uh, were hanging out in the, in the live stream while he was playing a game. Um, the guy brings up um, that he captured a Snorlax on his Pokemon Go or whatever that flop is, if that was mm -hmm. what it was back then. Um, and he said he named it Blissey. Do you want to know why? And I go, um, okay, why? Be he says because it looks like you. Oh. And I like to be realistic. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mm. I'm like, e excuse me? At first I thought, like, he, w he didn't know what he was saying, so I checked him again. No, he knew what he was saying. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna leave. And yeah, that guy, that that jerk made me cry. Oh, yeah. Oh wow. I'm. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, Not to mention Snorlax is just diff is just annoying to fight against. Period. Because bulky physical walls. Not a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. No. This, oh no, Bert. That's a fucking understatement. Just a low blow? <laughs> That's not even a low blow. That's just straight up, fuck you. Yeah. It, it, it was just a, a straight up trying to hurt my feelings, and it he did successfully hurt my feelings. It, it was like basic uh, middle school bullying that, yeah, I do have a, a little bit of... Uh, I don't, I don't, uh, yeah, sticks and stones break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Ah, oh, bullshit. Words do hurt. Because of what words they- Words hurt. Yeah, because of what they imply. <laughs> mm. Come on, Dratini, you got this. Mm, pop my knuckles. Sure. A little closer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. No! Don't miss! Yeah, understood. Fuck. Gonna wish Aeon oh. a good luck on his first drives to do Uber and Lyft. Oh my god. Three Make times a in a row? Seriously? Fucking wrap him. Thank you. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna have to use somebody else. Sometimes I don't understand how the whole missing system works. They say that Slam has a 75% chance of hitting. Well, how am I supposed yeah. to know? Wait, so, wait, what was the question? Uh, whenever you tell a Pokemon to use an attack and sometimes it misses, they're like, ugh. Like, there's no real estimation over that. There's no way of telling, I mean. Um, I believe in later generations they started saying the accuracy of the move whenever you looked in the summary. I'm not sure if they did it in this generation, though. Okay. Because some moves, like especially one-hit KO moves, they are noto they have notoriously low chances to actually hit. They have like a 30% chance to hit. I also learned that, uh, sometimes, sometimes... The, the number that it tells you is not very representative of the actual fucking number that it's supposed to be. Like, take a move like Focus Blast that says 75% of the time, this move should hit. I have never seen it hit more than 50% of the time. Why do I have such a habit of using Flamethrower? Mmm. Mmm. Slam of Thunder are super inaccurate. Yeah, no, I noticed that too. Kept missing, kept missing. Just fucking hit him! It's very annoying. 
At some point, I'm going to have to get rid of Thunder and Slam for Pikachu. Because I have no patience or tolerance for constant missing. Because you run the chance too much of getting hit and killed. As well as Drill and Fisher. Okay, Fisher is like a one-hit kill. And that really all depends on the type of Pokemon you're going for. If it's like... A Pokemon if it's a flying type, then it's not going to do anything. Or if period. it's a psychic, because they can use their psychic ability to levitate and avoid the, the Fisher move. That's only if they have the ability to levitate. Well, I just saw something crazy in one of our fun travel chat rooms. Uh -huh. Huh. Teen with measles who visited Disneyland Resort in L.A. Hmm. Hmm. Are you kidding me? What are you fucking stupid? Uh. It has been scientifically proven that vaccines do not make your children or teens or adults autistic or get Asperger's for the every Again with the shit people. Autism just happens. Vaccinate your goddamn kids. Vaccinate your crotch goblins. <laughs> I, I got. I have no words. I have absolutely oh, I no have words. No, you just, are endangering uh, other people by not doing that, you sons of bitches. No, that's the, that's the same stupid shit with um, what I found out about with uh, what is it called autism speaks, and that they don't really care about like like they they treat the disability in such a negative light. Oh, one second. Thank you. Bless oh, you. Fuck. Yeah, it just shows you're allergic to bullshit. Yeah, really. <laughs> <sighs> and that didn't last long. And there goes Dratini. Dratini. Oh, wait, wait. No. Okay, so it was three wraps. Okay, cool. I don't have any potions. I do have a max revive, though. Max revive. Yep. Maximum effort. Eliara, thank you for hosting the stream. <laughs>